listen, have you ever had one of those moments where it literally made a pathway or was the pinnacle of your inspiration? This movie is the pinnacle of my inspiration for my entire life. Hercules. How do you become a true hero? Look inside your heart. I know what you're thinking, right? It's an animation. What did you get from there? But the thing is, it's not the animation that got me or that was my pinnacle. It was the story that made my life as a kid want to be that when I grow up. <laughs> I mean, everyone has that moment, right? What do you want to be when you grow up? This was it. Let me explain. Okay, so hear me out. There is a moment in time in everyone's life when they are at a very vulnerable state, which is here. Then there is this thing called an epiphany. An epiphany is an idea that inspires one through a, this is supposed to be a brain, an idea, light bulb, that inspires a connection. That connection brings us to a place of an idea. It sets the later or future us. There it is, now you can see it better. And that future us leads us through a whole timeline of our life, the period, where we have literally areas of our lives when we have success, downfalls, Success, downfalls, success, downfalls, success, really downfall, success. But ultimately, this is life. Leading us through what inspired us, the epiphany, gave us the idea to become in our life. Does that make sense? Now listen, this idea or there's epiphany. These are things that we learn from a very young age and they're constant on our everyday growing up life. To an adult, a senior, to whatever the case may be, but it's always there, always pushing. Even if it faintly leaves, it's always somehow tying us to that main inspiration that we wanted to be at some point. This inspiration comes in many different ways. For me, it came through a movie. That's why one of the main things that I want to do is share what I believe through film, through YouTube, because it's something that helped me share my message. You too have had that inspiration in some way or somehow. I know exactly what you mean. It could have been through a dog. It could have been through, you know, going to the bakery store. It could have been going always with your parents to the park or going out camping. But something ignited inside of you the idea of what you really wanted to be in your life. The reality of thing is, is that we all have this decision we have to make. In life, we have to become something. But what is the point of it all? Well, that is the main thing that captured me in this movie, Hercules. So what inspired me exactly from the movie, Hercules? Let me explain. First, let's look at his main story. So Hercules was born a god who became men through the wickedness of a selfish god, which is Hades. He lost his identity by becoming a man, and then he found his identity, but then he had to regain his identity through the process of becoming a true hero. He went on this journey, became famous, but not a true hero because he misunderstood what it was to be a true hero. But then 
he found his true hero and he became that hero he needed to be. And the only way that he did that was to a selfless act of love. Then he was able to find his true identity and once again be able to go into Olympus. But what is the whole process of this movie? The main thing was what he became at the very end, which was his epiphany, if you will. But how did he become that? Because the definition of being a hero was very clear. Let's look at the dictionary. According to the dictionary, a hero is a person who is admired or idealized for courage, outstanding achievements, or noble qualities. Now look, this is my problem. According to this definition and the movie, he became what is defined as a hero. But he wasn't what a true hero was like, according to his father, Zeus. Now let's look at the definition of his father's hero definition. According to Zeus, a true hero isn't measured by the size of his strength, but by the strength of his heart. That was the main point of all of this, being willing to give himself for others. That was the true meaning of being a hero. So what's the main point in all of this? Well, you need to be the hero in your story, in your life. But what definition of hero are you being right now is the question to ask. Are you being the hero that is exactly what people want to define you as? Where they look at you for fame and they forget about you like they did with the other gods? Or a hero that is put in the stars like they did in Hercules? And it's not by your strength, it's not by your might, it's not about what you do, what you say, but it's about a selfless act that you do because you love what you do. That's what makes you a hero in your story. So whatever your epiphany is, whatever inspired you from a point of the beginning to the rest of your life, make that where you are the hero of your story, where a true hero is not measured by the size of his strength, but by the strength of his heart.